What is up YouTube, it's Jason right here, and I got my hands on the Lenovo Legion Go, and I'm going to show you how to improve performance and optimize it to get more FPS while playing games. All right, so I'm going to show you how to get from 53 FPS from an initial benchmark to 83 FPS towards the end of this video. What? So let's get started with the video. So we're, we are running Windows 11 right here. The issue with Windows 11, that's full of bloatware out of the box. So it's full of bloatware. We have Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, things that we don't need on a dedicated gaming device. So if you're gonna use this for a, a dedicated gaming device, follow along with this video. If you're applying to use it as a computer, you know, to go to school and whatnot, I don't recommend doing all the optimizations, but do most of them that I am doing right here. So. Uh, without further ado, let's go to Modern Warfare, and I did do a benchmark on it. I did get 53 FPS running on default settings at 100% resolution scale from 1280 by 800 p And this is the performance that I got, and I know we can squeeze more out of this. So let's exit out from... Uh, Modern Warfare and let's go to Task Manager so I can show you what's going on with our system. So our system out of the box, we go to performance, has around 201 processes. So these 201 processes, um, a few of those are the game right now, but most of them are Windows bloatware that's removing performance from our system. And I'm gonna teach you how to lower this number and improve on your FPS. So all you wanna do is go in the description down below and you're gonna download um, Bloaty and the latest GPU driver because the latest GPU driver does not come pre-installed with uh, the Lenovo, Lenovo Legion Go and it's gonna improve dramatically your performance as well. We are going to change some settings within Legion Space and within Settings. First of all, let's close out of Modern Warfare. All right, so we close that off. Let's go close in a few seconds. And we are going to start off with the driver. All right, so the driver update. We're going to install it first, and this is going to help us, you know, get more better compatibility with our games and with our system as well. So you download from the description down below, you wanna click next, next, install, install, and it's gonna install the drivers for you. So let's just wait until this finishes. All right, so while installing these drivers, this terminal will show up, nothing to worry about. These are official drivers from Lenovo as well in the description down below. So as you can see, it's updating the drivers. When I did open Modern Warfare, I did get a driver error because they were so outdated. This, as you can see, GPU driver does not meet the minimum requirement. So as you can see, that was the issue that I was describing. Sorry for that, I'm on a phone call. So once this finishes, I will be right back. All right, so your screen will be flashing and flickering while doing this update. It might change orientation and all that stuff, but don't worry, it's all part of the process. As you can see, AMD uh, GFX installed successfully. You wanna click on OK and finish. So we just successfully installed the driver updates. Now let's go with the second program that we downloaded, which is Bloody Nosy. So we open that, you wanna click on yes. All right, so we open up Bloaty right here. This app's gonna remove all the bloatware from our system, thus giving us more performance and lowering down our system processes. One note uh, that I do wanna give you guys, if you guys do use um, Xbox Game Pass or Xbox um, Game Bar to chat with your friends through Xbox, um, I do recommend going to the gaming tab right here. All right and make sure not to have uh ticked on this one disable game dvr feature this will actually break the xbox app so make sure not to have this one checked but the other two are fine to check off so right there and right there it's all right so you want to put fix 
and apply fixes. We click on yes. It's going to open up a little um, command prompt. Do you want, uh, yes, we want to open up our little keyboard. Click right here and click Y, enter. So right now it's gonna remove all that bloatware that we do not need and it's gonna lower down our process. So trust me, this is a game changer. All just in one click. So once you see that this is not um, updating with text, you wanna to go to right here where it says find more apps. You wanna to go to bloat pilot. And you wanna remove any apps that you don't use. So make sure to go over all these apps, but I do recommend you removing most of them. You can see, um, I hardly use any of these apps, especially since this will be my dedicated game device. I recommend you removing them all, but uh, do scroll down. So do scroll down, sorry for that. And as you can see, make sure to have the Xbox um, apps on the other side. If you do use Xbox Game Pass, the rest are not important to me. Make sure to go over these. You can uh, restore them back if you do delete them by accident. But since I do use uh, Xbox Game Bar, I do not want to uninstall the Xbox apps. Once you have all the apps that you don't use, click on empty, yes. And screw remove all that extra bloatware as well. All right, so once we get 40 apps have been uh, selected for removal, 36 have been removed. So once you finish removing the apps, you wanna go to uh, Blow Pilot. So we'll say Blow Pilot on the bottom, but just click on Win Modder. After Win Modder, one more time, Explore Mods, okay. Install Mod Signature. And we wanna download the Chris Tyrus Tech Windows Utility. This one's a pretty good one. You want to download and install mod. Go back, check it, apply. So let's go load up a second program within this program. And we are going to do some configurations. This is pretty simple stuff, guys. Don't get intimidated on all this. So this will show up. You want to click on tweaks. You want to click on desktop. Like I said, if you do use Game DVR, make sure, make sure, please, to uncheck it. Okay, this this Game DVR X uh, works as well for Game Pass. All right, and one more optimization: so, since we do have FPS mode with our controller, uh, we want disable mouse acceleration for better accuracy. Once we have all the tweaks uh, checked off, you want to click on Run Tweaks. And we should get a little window that says it's all done. So as you can see, it says done. You want to click on OK. You want to exit out. Mods uh, apply successfully. And we're good to go from this app. So, so far, if we go to um, Task Manager and look at our processes, uh, we are lowered down to 184 processes. But we do have to restart our system to get the ac actual amount that we did remove. So let's make sure to restart our device really quick. Um, this is okay. This is part of Legion Space. All right, so we're back to Legion Space. I got an update. We want to click on install. Yes. So make sure to install every single update from Legion Space and Windows. Make sure to do that because it's it will really help out with your experience. So once this is done installing, I'll be right back. All right, so Legion Space just finished updating. Uh, since we're already here, I'm gonna give you some things that you have to change here to get more performance. 
So we click on the settings tab here. We go to performance where it says thermal, uh, thermal mode. You want to click on performance. We do that and OS power mode. Click on efficiency. Now you might be thinking why we want efficiency if we want more power. So this will actually help distribute the power between the GPU and CPU and thus giving us more uh, performance. So once we're finished here, uh, we want to go back to our desktop. Remove uh, one more setting that we want to change. We want to go to our Windows tab. We want to search for core isolation. Core isolation. And we want to make sure to turn that off. So, so by turning off core isolation, this actually improves our performance. And if you're using your Legion Go just for gaming, I recommend you to disable your antivirus in general because it's just going to be a gaming device. Just make sure not to download any shady stuff on the internet. So once we finish that, we want to actually turn off our Legion Go. We want to dismiss this. Turn it off. All right, so once our Legion Go is fully turned off, we're going inside our BIOS and increase the VRAM of our GPU. It's not anything hard or tedious. So all we want to do is click on the uh, power button and the volume up button at the same time. And it's gonna take us to a menu. All right, so it's this white menu right here. And this is only a touchscreen um, process. So we wanna to go to BIOS setup. We go to more settings in the corner. Oh, more settings, configuration. You want to scroll all the way until we see UMA frame buffer size. You want to go to four gigabytes. Now there is a beta uh, BIOS update, which will increase it to uh, six gigabyte, which is a nice sweet spot for the Legion Go to get better performance But that will be part of my advanced performance guide for the Legion Go. So make sure to stay tuned for that Don't click on a because we do need some system memory for both Windows and our games So if you click on a we're displaying our 16 gigabytes on in half and this will actually can cause issues because so lack thereof of RAM so four is good for now, but on my next video, I'm gonna show you how to increase it to six, which is the nice sweet spot that we want. But that's a little bit more advanced and a little bit more tedious. So once we do that, we wanna exit. Uh, exit with changing settings. We wanna click yes. And this will take us back to Windows. So once Windows loads up, I'll be right back. All right, so I just loaded up into Windows, Legion Space just opened, and now let's look at our process count on our Windows system. So we're gonna hold the Windows button, go to Task Manager, go to Performance, and now we have 122 processes running in the background. Depending on your on your Windows setup, it might be more, it might be less, depending on how many programs you have installed. This is a brand new system. Uh, out of the box, all I did is just install the drivers and install Steam with Modern Warfare. Those are all the things you're going to change to improve the performance of your Legion Go. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the process count even lower and even more performance on your system. So right now, let's load up uh, Modern Warfare and do a benchmark one more time so you can see the improvement of FPS. All right, so one thing I do want to show, um, even though we updated our drivers, Modern Warfare does not recognize that because the drivers are still not up to snuff on most, on a few games, not most games, but on a few games. So you just want to ignore. Don't click on update because it's not going to take you to the right page. So right now we're going to load up Modern Warfare and do our benchmark. So give me a quick second and I'll show that off in a little bit. We're going to start the benchmark. Same settings as I had previously. All right, so let's see how much of a performance improvement we got uh, after doing this. So as you can see, we are reaching um, some nice FPS right here. Wow, that that is actually way different compared to what I got. 
at the beginning. It was like hitching and stuttering. With the same settings, mind you guys. I did not expect this much of a performance improvement, but you guys will see, like, this is a major, major, major difference. And you're gonna see it in the numbers. You will see this in the numbers. You guys might think I'm like over exaggerating, but look of how much we improved after our performance or after moving after moving all these settings 83 fps after getting 53 fps we're up to 83 now i gotta say that does that deserves a subscribe all right so please like and subscribe so make sure to stay tuned for my full optimization video my advanced video uh, which anyone can do it, but it's more involved compared to this one. If you thought this one's involved, the other one's even more involved. But it's easy to do as long as you follow what I'm doing, all right? So please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos, comment down below what you want to see. All right, so this is Jason signing out. Peace.